How are we doing? I'm Dustin Like the Chore, and today I am playing The Invincible. This is a sci-fi thriller that I actually demoed a couple months back, uh, but it's finally out now. So uh, I'm going to show you what it's all about. There we go. Apparently this game is based on a book, which I did not know that. Uh, the Dragonfly, a small research unit of interplanetary commonwealth with a crew of six, travels to the distant regions of space. After visiting many worlds and exploring numerous planets, the research mission comes to an end. However, on the way home, there's one more task waiting for the crew. Despite the risk, Astrogator Novik undertakes the extraction of a rare and extremely valuable mineral himself. Come on, Novik. Novik gets the mineral, but at the cost of a broken leg and immense pain. The Astrogator's accident doesn't stop the crew from happily celebrating the end of the research cycle. It was time of creating deep bonds and feeling unstoppable. Victorious, they set a course home and go for a well-deserved rest in the hibernation chambers. Oh, that's sketchy. They always go to sleep and then wait for the... That is terrifying. Oh, and this is where we begin. Whoa. Where am I? Whoa. Yasna. Marit? What? Anybody? Uh... Were we supposed to be in the hibernation chamber? What's going on? Whoa. Help! Help. Uh, I need help. Base, would you please answer me? Are you there? Hello? Koval! Marit! I, I saw you a second ago. I think. Whoa. Dragonfly, come in. My head is killing me. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Or where I am exactly. Oh, this would be terrifying. Someone answer me, god damn it. Gosh dang. <sighs> Why would I be here? Okay. Nothing's broken. I, I can walk. Where's everyone gone? Why is no one answering me? <laughs> Are we uh, giving it a reset? Oh. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> oh, is that my lunch? No, it's not. <laughs> it's a thing. I don't know what that is. What the heck? Just like I thought. Nothing. Precisely. <laughs> I'm on my own. The beacon can't be detected huh. either. Interesting. Wait, was I supposed to look at something else in there? Oh, there's my lunchbox. Okay. Oh, let's see if Just the kidding. That's, that's notes. The present me. I knew that. And let's hope she took notes. What? Are we on Reader's 3? It doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. So 
some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. Group explore the ocean with no biologist. How do you not remember any of this? And the other one, just me, took a different route. This is so confusing because we literally just talked about getting in our chambers. Unless this is the no, because Novik was the one that got hurt. I was heading straight to the camp. Right. So what will happen? Must be somewhere near. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Send up a flare, the probe. Anything. Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Oh, were you just screaming that to the sky, Yasna? Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> he didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like I need to stop doing this. I'm thoroughly confused right now, which I'm I'm sure that you are too. Ah. Uh. I'm looking for something that resembles a dog. A dog? Oh, that kind of looks like a dog. A specific structure which does not resemble any canine. Yeah, it does. I absolutely disagree with you. That is absolutely a canine. I'm checking another object. That's Which not. Also doesn't match. Hmm. Focus. Oh, this is cool. Whoa. Whoa, that is insane. What is that? That rope. rope. I think it's mine. I'll try to Oh, Yasna, you are so like lost. That's sick. You can focus this? Anything else? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, what is, that looks like a dog. I found the dog. To be honest, uh, they all kind of look like dogs. We have the first one. <laughs> Awkwardly oh. enough. An object I call needle. Oh, okay. Yeah, I already know where that's at. Okay, so she's getting her bearings. That looks like a dog too. I'm just gonna be honest, and so does that one. Kind of. I think they all can look like it. It resembles an eye of a needle. And then next, the croc, which that's fair. I report that I have established my ah, okay. That's all I need was the two of them. Okay. Um, well now, all right. So yeah, I did not know this was based on a book though. That's pretty awesome. So uh, I guess it's, it's probably why there's a lot of dialogue. There was a lot of dialogue in the demo as well. Uh, But uh, it definitely seems a lot more optimized than when I. I think I see our ship. Oh, there you go. You're not leaving without me, are you? It seems way better optimized than whenever I had played it last, which was in the demo. Like it would just literally start lagging randomly, and oh, I have a sprint speed. Okay, or sprint stamina. Did not know that. I'm in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. Interesting. So Yaslin lost her... What does it want me to do? It wants me to go down? Oh my gosh, nope, no, go back, go back, go back. She lost her memory of this place. So we need to figure out why and where we're at, where we are at right now. Well, Regis 3, but specifically why... Oh, did you mean to do that? I thought we were going that way. That'll come in handy. Yeah, she meant to do that. Okay. That should come in handy.
Definitely a very beautiful game though. Not like even the interface, like I'm literally like the, the helmet I'm wearing and honestly very beautiful. I'm loving it. I think it's done by the Unreal Engine as well. Huh. There's water in this Unreal Engine planet. 5 maybe? I don't know. Uh, they might, might, might not be 5 because this game was a... Hmm. Another liquid that did not allow the biosynosis to form. Hmm. It be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration, as we all remember. Third rule. Right. What's going on? Flashback? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, we're getting out of... Okay, so this is where we were left off. We are in our hyperbolic chamber. On our way home. Already awake. Good. <sighs> Yasna? Hmm? Yeah, I don't know if you're awake, whether it's a post-hibernation of praxia. No, I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. Just slowly. Now, try to get up. Slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Oh. <sighs> Sitting here. What is she doing up already? Here. Take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. I haven't heard that rule yet. Hmm. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Marit. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. Hmm. Kovel, will you help me here? Sure, I'm coming. Wonder how long we've been out. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yasna, look for yourself. This is not the right I, I feel like You I feel like shouldn't this be is the time. We should be looking, right? Kovel, that's important. Could you stop it. I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. It's not good. Enough of this, Yasna. Why is she acting weird? I feel like she's I'm acting weird. Astrogator. Debating chamber in 15 minutes. I'm gonna look. This can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. I don't trust you, Merit. Marit. Whatever your name is. Okay, so tracker is T. Oh! I have oh, something there on we the go. tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. Okay. Find my beacon. All right, I'm going to head down to this water, I guess. I guess it's my first task here. So we ended up in the wrong solar system or location, obviously, where we left off in that little beginning, little intro, the prologue. But we still don't know why we are here. I'm gonna see if I can run some tests on this water and get some more water. Is there a button to pull water out? Oh. It's a no-go. I guess I guess we're just gonna go for the tracker right now. Let's see where it takes us. I love this game right now. It's so immersive, like honestly. This is sick. Okay. Ah. Uh, so this is my up close map, right? And then I go back a page. This is my further out map, right? Like this is my sector, I guess. So we're, so we're headed toward the, what it looks like the camp, on my map, which she hasn't realized. So oh, I passed it. Never mind. Oh, I'm like right on it. Where are you? Oh, there it is. My beacon. Got you. I found it. 
Look for me on your trackers. Find my way to camp, which camp seems to be this direction. So I'll just keep on moving this direction until I make it. I love your commentary, Yasna, but, uh, what are you talking about? That's so random. Here we go. This looks like I can... There we go. Good work, Yasna. Yeah, I'm sorry. That doesn't... That definitely resembles a dog just as much as the other one does. I mean, yeah, a little bit crocodile, but not really. Come on. Come on, Yas. Yazina. What? Why am I headed that way? I guess that's my direction I'm supposed to go, but... Um... Yeah, this doesn't look like it's correct. What's going on? Uh... There we go out of the valley leading more or less towards the camp oh, okay. I can't go this way why not how do you expect to do this then man honestly being in any situation where you lose your memory is terrifying i've had concussions in the past many concussions i've been snowboarding out a concussion don't remember where i was at uh literally blacked out for an hour and then came back and i was still conscious though that's what's crazy i was still conscious that whole time so i was talking to people thinking i was like in kansas when i was in colorado so it was very strange but there is no place like home. Uh, but yeah, no, I also had a football concussion and blacked out for the second half of a game. I was in for like maybe five plays. Absolutely terrifying. Uh, football is in American football, not soccer. Uh, but yeah, so I was a defensive back. I played football, or at least at that point, uh, I was receiver and defensive back, but went to make a tackle, hit him just right in the back of my head, turned my head down, and literally don't remember anything from that point on until I was at the hospital with my parents, because I was repeating myself. It was actually terrifying for them. Uh, so I definitely have been through head injuries and... Volcanically active. Ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. So pretty. Goodness. Let's get a look at this right now. Seriously, look at this. It's so pretty. So as I was saying, yeah, I've been through... I've been through a lot of head trauma. Not a lot of head trauma, but I have been through a decent amount of head trauma to know how terrifying it is to be in this situation. It's definitely not one you want to find yourself in. Because one, you don't know. You don't know what happened. I, I, like, we still don't know how she ended up in that location and she doesn't remember anything. Well, I mean, she started to whenever she looked at her map, but there's something odd about this, for sure. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I love these planets, man. They did so good on this. Um, oh yeah, there we go. I was like, how do I zoom? Okay. I'm oh, sorry for cutting you off. In a straight line. I, I see you. Can you hear me? No, they can't. Sorry for cutting you off. Yeah, I know that was very pretty. Oh, I can autofocus too. That's awesome. I just need to get down from here. Honestly, the Unreal Engine is absolutely unreal. What it can do. It, it's crazy what video games can do now. I saw this route. I'm kind of curious about it. Gentle slope. Yeah, let's do it. Great. A route that won't break my neck. <laughs> I bet you that direction was uh, a dangerous direction to take. That's my guess. Can I use my... Oh, we're just sliding down. We're not even going to use a rope. Okay. I'm at the bottom. It looks better from here. I'll be uh, with you soon. I think uh, that's why Yasna got some, uh, can't remember what happened. She probably hit her head doing stuff like that. For real. Yeah, that was the route I could have taken. Yeah, that was not going to happen. Oh, well, I got a ways to camp. I hope there's nothing dangerous out here. Do I need to get cover? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Where should I go? Oh, no. What do I do? What do I do? I just keep proceeding. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to keep going. Let's we'll see what happens. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. It is so bad that I had to turn my flashlight on. Is that what happened last time, maybe? It might have been. What? What happened? Where? What just happened? What's going on? Oh, did you see that handprint? Ah, oh, it's awesome. Oh, so it was the storm, I think. So I need to hide during storms. My destination. I must have walked for some time. Okay. So avoid the storms, I think. Did, did I black out again? Or she just blacked out because she's got something else going on. No idea. But I'll take it. Closer to camp. Can't argue with that, right? Need to get back to Dragonfly. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, need to get back to Dragonfly or to, to Dragonfly. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. Absolutely. It's getting darker. Holy cow! It's very dark right now. Whoa. It really gives you a sense of the loneliness and the, the, the terror she's going through a little bit with the singing. 
she's probably singing to keep herself. I remember you, Regis Third Satellite. Keep herself calm. You know. Oh, geez, what's going on? Flashback. Astrogator, sir. Crew. Doctor Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. Oh, great. How's oh. the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, sounds that's sounds 4%. wrong. Yeah. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes, and yet we have detected mm. no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? Virtually zero. In the world of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no virus. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps are, Doctor. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be algae. because of hard radiation. Mm, How do you say it? So. <laughs> and that's algae. The probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought intolerant evolution occurred here. And that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame. Uh, is that what Matt, I need to figure out? <laughs> oh. It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized day, it must be at least... Oh, it's like, what happened to the power? Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, mm. we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense, but I assure you that Regis Three is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with Bingo. the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second. Converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate. Concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean. Together with its crew of almost a hundred men. Professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. They are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. <laughs> Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Koval. 
Dr. Crowther, mm. do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage, feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry, not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski mm. will program Artie to collect samples. Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis 3, if any. But... Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? Agreed. You just remembered. Oh, because the planet. The planet helped her remember. Seaboard. A satellite. Pretty close, oh, right? Thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Oh. Is anyone out there? Robot. Oh, it's just Android Android bot. Bot. Stop. Stop there, sir. Androbot, stop. What's going on? <sighs> I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Hmm. That's Cause weird. unknown. Maybe I got sent to the planet because something went wrong. And the crew is like Hello? not communicating back. Anyone here? What's that noise? Marit! It's Yasna! Someone's in here. I came for you. Oh. oh, Dr. Crowther, didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor, is everything all right? Doctor, please, look at me. He's lost his mind. A report that I've located Dr. Crowther is Oh in bad no, shape. when you put the helmet on. He was the one that made a big deal about it. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. Novik. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. There we go. Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear. But to That's the point, what we needed. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther at the camp. And he's not well. What happened No, he's not. I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse two. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Oh, he's gone. I'd say deep, deep stupor. Akinesia, mutism, impoverishment of mimic movements, and reaction to stimuli. These are all symptoms of stupor. But it's difficult to pinpoint the stupor. cause of the disorder. We need to the air, right? The, the set of tests and focal hmm. plate tomography of his brain. Otherwise, I won't be able to say anything more. 
I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, the lander. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowder. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? So with that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include okay. crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. Hmm. Like it, right? Doctor Browse. Initial analysis of samples revealed nickel, iron, manganese, beryllium, and titanium in the composition. I would give a lot to understand what it actually is. Quick theory: a giant nickel-iron meteor splashed into the atmosphere of Regis Three, melting its surface millions of years ago. No, wait, scratch that. The shape of the structures can contradicts it. Hmm. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. B A twenty three sixteen. Noting three sixteen. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Hmm. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. We just found it. it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broken. Hmm. <laughs> Touche, sir. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. Oh, wow. So we can see through stuff. Now we're going to move to find the rest of the crew. Shouldn't be too bad. Something wrong with the connection, sir. It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're going to make them wait? Hmm. Uh, oh my gosh, this seems like a big decision. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh no. Oh jeez, dude. I'm not gonna leave him. What isn't working properly? I can't just leave Crowter like this. Yeah. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Okay, so that didn't make a decision. That just. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice. It's still alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah, I remember. Something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, is he just gonna play it off like she doesn't, or that she does now? Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. And uh, Robic, is his leg still bothering him? Yes, he's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. I see it just pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the weed. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a criminal act. I understand how you feel, Cobble. 
After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? <laughs> you come across as, well, erudite, but at the end of the day, it's simple bombing that speaks through me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, but the... Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Gladly. Koval, where are you going? Over. <laughs> Probably a little, um, I'm switching to manual. A quick recce. I'm going to take a look around. Distance, 100. Are you there? Uh, a recce. 300. More like a quick ciggy. <laughs> Am I hearing this correctly? Are you going to smoke, Papa? Uh, no, no, not at all. Yes, he is. I'm staying dutifully at my station. 500. That me. Am I seeing this right? Dr. Crowther, would you please have a look here? The green is cross or er, Crowder. Like a school of fish. This is oh no. Wait, what? What are they doing? Oh the blue is moving away from us. From us. It's who's talking. The circle. Right from the pool. As soon as I swim it close to them, do you see Well, I thought maybe not, I don't know. It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen the Yeah, crops? it is. I've no idea, but their behavior mm. suggests some sort of defense mechanism. A catch at least one for examination, then I'll be able to say more. Come here. So the fish is scared of the robot? Is that what Come I'm getting? Stop it. What did you do? I had to electrocute it. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, Yasna. <laughs> oh, co wait, I don't know. No, no, Vic is on the ship with me. Okay. All right, so I think I have to decide if I'm gonna stay with him or go find the others. I wish I could maybe like put his helmet on just so he's protected because I feel like he's kind of in a very vulnerable situation with his helmet off like that and not being able to talk at all right I've got bad news our signal is far too weak to restart that Andrew bot. a relay malfunction not exactly it's pretty messed that's up completely fried I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage well, that's irrelevant now doctor there must be a spare somewhere in the camp please search for it hmm where could it possibly be? There'd be another relay on the camp. I need to get this guy going. Oh, I literally was right next to it. No, it's not a relay. No luck. They're not in here. That is not what I was looking for. Oh, how about here? Garbage. Not here either. That does not look like that's it. I have the extra relay. Oh, they have a ton of extra relays. Oh, let's do it. Oh, so I need to grab these because those are probably going to be helpful for me just keeping communication. Maybe I really don't know. But that looks very fragile. Looks like it's made of uh, aluminum foil. Uh, what happened here? Is it gonna work? We'll see. I rebooted the system. Let's grab another one. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving oh. instructions. Oh. That's cool. Oh, I can't open it now. Hopefully I don't need to reopen it. Let's close them all up. You never know. It's supposed to be a decision-making game, right? Ugh. I don't know if the Andrew bot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. Unfortunately. Hmm. I want someone's sandwich to go bad. Electronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. 
What? He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Hmm. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Got you. Tin butt. Uh. Thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. Oh, of course. I don't know where I'm supposed to go from here now, so let's start making my way this way because this is the way I did not come from. And we will see. Oh my goodness. I should move. Oh, there's no time. Excavation site or what does that say? Landing place? Yeah, let's go check out the landing place, I guess. Why not? I'm pretty close to it. What just happened? Oh my gosh, that freaked me out. It works. Crowter, five meters. Careful. Well, we got so different in the cave. Different vibe entirely. Whoa, why is it different over here? I found the area marked by Dr. Crowter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground. A large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Huh? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes. It's relatively clean. You can send Hopper, sir. Huh. It looks like the rocks at the landing area. The, the ones drawn by Crowter. But the doctor marked a waypoint. I don't recall... It's, it's just a sketch. No markings. Well, if so, we should do it. What would you call them? Oh, I get to pick, huh? Um... Oh, well, I can't see now, so, uh... Bones. These rocks are white as bones. Bones, then. Writing that down. Me too. Sure. Oh, one more thing, Astrogator. The bones are, well, literally almost white. Unlike the environments around them. Yes, thank you. That's valuable information. Be useful in navigating. That's cool. I wonder if at some point I can just type in a name. <laughs> That'd be bad. That would be bad. Okay, so I have found this. Is he sending one? I'm just going to continue because I'm not going to wait for that crap. All right, so let's go check this excavation site. Is he not sending the hopper? Is he really? I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. By the hmm. way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. Got someone. I'm following the signal. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, can I go? I I'm worried that I'll fall in, but I definitely want to get... Okay, I won't fall in. <laughs> it's like, what is going on? That's crazy. Okay, so we got someone on the signal. We must focus on both water, chemistry, testing, and geological drilling. Geological cross section? Measurements? These are Merritt's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Layers of sedimentary clay interspersed with blackish red substance. Not geological, not planetary millions of years old at least that's interesting it's not planetary and so that 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 the over oh, right here look 
the uh, structure here. That's what they're talking about. Cosmos Solidary Alliance, Interplanetary Commonwealth Headquarters, Space Division, Solar System. Dear Dr. Merritt, this is in response to the latest Interplanetary Conference. We would like to offer you a promotion in the future expedition, uh, Obelisk, I don't know what that is, three, as an astrogator. Your skills and overall performance in previous missions prove to us that your readiness to take the next step into space journey. We would be delighted to receive your response as soon as you are back from your current mission. Sincerely, Jin Perkscard, Perkard, Commanding Officer, Space Division. So, he was getting a promotion, it seems. Or she. I can't remember whose this was. Obviously said in that letter, but I need to proceed. Whoa, whoa. Okay. I think I know where I can find her. Oh, I hope, I hope she's not a loony. In the loony bin, just as the other doctor was. Whoa. I'm close, but I can't see her. Oh no. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Merit! 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 Wake up! Wake up! Do you hear me? Dr. Merit? No. No Space vital here. functions. What's going I need on? two. One. Two. Three. This voice acting is so good. Oh my gosh, dude. Everything I felt the emotion. All fine. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Cover's next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. It's not good that he's close, right? Do you think? The worst. Just go find him. Alive. I need to find him. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. Got something. So ominous right now. is normal yet he's completely unresponsive he's he's got the the same situation Covel? Covel. His eyes are so empty just like crouches she needs to get off this planet Covel, now what the hell is wrong with you are all the symptoms the same as dr crouches he's calm calmer well 
At least he's alive. Now listen to me, Asta. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Cobble on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. What? I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. It's everywhere. In pieces. No, not good. Koval was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them. But it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's a... Uh... Nothing about Dr. Gorski. Is life on this planet after all? Uh, found them. Surprisingly accurate. Structures branch out. Every step. Great. Massive ver vertical exhibit. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Water It'll tank. Be pretty hard in one G. Structures. But the gravity here should Biggest make one it yet. So okay, so they found multiple. Visible from point at. Oh, what is that? I don't know. Interesting. Wait, I wanted to... Okay. Let's get him out of here. Come on, Cobble. You got him. Oh. Either you're really strong or the gravity here is making you really light. Because that was not expected. I bet he's so heavy. With the suit on, probably 250. Maybe 200. Damn. That's a weird thing to say. It won't break into pieces, right? The descent is proceeding smoothly. Don't worry. I hope I don't lose my mind. Pass out before I get there. You make it cobble. Mm -hmm. It all has to be related somehow. On the other hand, how could it be? There's not much on this planet. Primitive life forms in the ocean, metal deposits in the ground. Although the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest, for some reason. Yeah, I think crazy. there is something behind it. An anomaly. I don't know. Maybe we're dealing with some kind of anomaly. An atmospheric or magnetic phenomenon mm. uh, wouldn't something like that show on the charts all those measurements Gorski took I remember maybe he made a mistake quite possible ah he brought him here thank you robot Roby robot rib I don't know your name okay good 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 let's get him out of here I hope they make it back okay hope their brains not I hope it's temporary Oh my goodness. See you up there. Guess we'll find out. Left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. I'll go back for Marit's body first. Take her to the lander. But Yasna, Dr. Marit is already gone. What Come on. I've made up my mind, Astrogator. I can't leave her like this. Oh, man. What if Gorski dies because of that? Mm. Not good. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Let's go, Merit. How do you think, sir? I'm managing. Somehow. Forgive me, but I need to know if you're ready to continue your mission. <sighs> ready? Well... I don't think we have much choice in the matter. There's mm -hmm. only one way forward. I'd be... Z Honestly, I'd be terrified being you. 
Because you have two people that have lost their mind. One person's dead, and I'm sure the other person's either dead or the same situation. I've served with Dr. Merritt for over two decades. She's made of sterner stuff. The sternest. Many of us relied on her. I did. And now you be, all of a sudden have a heart, Novik? Did you know that headquarters offered her a promotion? She would have been the first female astrogator oh, in the history no. of the Commonwealth. I had no idea. Doesn't matter anymore. Really? Oh, God. Not entirely. Marit will be awarded posthumously. I'm taking a bit your word, astrogator. This could pave the way for others. And that's what she would have cared about the most. No doubt about it. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> all right. Please take good care you of all. Of course. Dr. Gorski's next. Let's hope he got out of danger in Gorski. time. It would be good to know what kind of danger we're talking about. Here we go. Keep our eyes peeled. Oh, that looks like something. Status. What? I'm leaving the excavation site. Huh. How did he come down? Found that right away, Yasna. Maybe you should just use your eyes. <laughs> oh, got something. I've got Gorski's signal. So soon? It's unlikely yeah. to be here. Then who? Oh. You were correct, sir. It's just our probe. It looks inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides... You'll see. I hope Novik's a good guy, because... Got an interesting... Okay. Opening the probe. Interesting morals. Turning and... the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it and then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Okay. Slide oh. records. Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure, but as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Yeah, as they say that. So he just wanted the records, which Let's makes sense. Look. Oh, okay, so it's like that's them leaving the lander. A photo of the first days on the Oh, the surface. fish. They okay. started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. It wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. Well, that's all of them. I, Excavation. I these structures. This is where they began to dig. Mm hmm Said this last time, but, uh... So they don't have good enough technology to take video footage of all this. They have sketched photos <laughs> I don't know it could be like a Star Wars situation 12 hours passed three crew members are still there Dr. Gorski must have left already we lost oh. contact shortly thereafter he's been gone for a long time the probe followed him and he followed the detectors readings going after those metal structures yes that's what I meant what's next Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No hey. need to shout, Astrid. Come on, dude. I'm just letting you know what I Come see. down here if you That's really want to see it for yourself. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Let me just go back through it. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. 
It happened in a matter of seconds. But there's... There's nothing except dunes. Sand, a few rocks, a shadow. Shadow? Hmm. And then a sandstorm, I guess. All right, Doctor. Let's move on. You may turn on the fuses now. We'll take the probe with us. So it's got to be those sandstorms. Something to do with those sandstorms is causing mental breakdowns, right? Good. Causing Good. anything. Now I can give commands to the probe. And what do you see? Causing anything that could be affected to be affected, is right? Working correctly? If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Ooh. Great. Oh, nice to have some company. I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. That's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. I no just took it, I thought. Do you want to give it a new ID? Maybe oh, it got wiped. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? I'll pick it. <laughs> A name for the teleprobe. Let's do it. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. B. Bali. Yeah, that's a good one. Please like enter that. Luna. L. U. N. A. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure reported was from the excavation. Just get out of there. The rest is underground. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. Where's that green line? Hey, Luna. Bro, you need to get away from me. You're way too close. Hmm. So I have multiple paths I can take here, right? So he was looking for those things, right? Metal. Oh, there we go. So I need to follow the metal. Because that's where he definitely went. Looks like it kind of dies off. Oh, no, it doesn't. It definitely is huge, actually. Oh, there's two paths. Is that is that the robot? Yes, it is. Okay. Robert. Hmm. The vibe totally changed on this planet, though. Holy cow, it's insane. Yes, sir. Like totally different. Yes, yes. The probe detected something. The structure from the notes, it fits the description perfectly. Well done, Luna. I knew I could count on you. Well, I, I was going to find it. For no reason, yeah. Even in the first stage procedure. Yeah, I don't want to probe it myself. All right. Let's keep moving. Oh, wow. Watch it. path continues this way. I'm wondering if this is where he went. Because that is what he was looking for, right? Uh, signs of it? mentioned in the notes around the third point and i have a matching object here all right so how many are left uh, two points or at least that's what he told cobble what he did next it's hard to assess well, the battery in the detector lasts for only a few hours so he couldn't have gone much further it's over here Okay, 
Okay, that's my path. Where is he at? Shoes. Gotcha. I found his tracks. Finally, some tangible Ooh. evidence that he was going this way. Ah, good. It's downhill all the way, daughter. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. Definitely up. I think we have the fourth point. Whoa, that's cool. Very pretty. Interesting. Oh, we're jumping it. I did not expect us to do that. Okay. I think this this looped around, right? By yeah, it loops around. I think the fourth point is a structure that fills a rock massive on top of which he found surface structures huh. sounds like a crucial node in this whole system Wait, something doesn't seem right about going this way yeah I might look back around but it's all right Following those green lines. No, oh, I found it. Oh, this is not the right way. I believe it's this way. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Well, that's cool, too. Oh, what is that? What was that? <sighs> this mission tracks on so much. So high up. Sometimes I think you're going to take off without me, sir. Jeez. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. I confirm. It's the fourth one. I see our flag. I think I'll catch up with Dr. Gorski on the other side. Well, that wouldn't be such a bad scenario, right? Of course not. Though I wouldn't mind if we bumped into each other before the climb. Mm-hmm. Okay, so since I found that, what, what's my route here, huh? That's a dead end. I guess it's up this way. So I was headed the right way, originally. I think. Is that where I came from? I think, yeah, this is it, this is it. I really hope he's up here. Can't lose another one. Oh, yes, indeed, he definitely came up here. He's, he's for sure fo following these signs of a life, I guess, or metal structure, whatever you would call it. Uh, my legs feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. Three, two, one. The structures undergo noticeable changes here. What a douche. It's growing at this rate. I don't know what I'm finding. There it goes. Oh. What kind oh. of are you talking about? He's saying, I thought he was saying, hey, you need to take a risk. Do you think these veins lead somewhere to something? I'm leaning more and more towards that conclusion. But I can't tell what we might expect at the end. If it ends at all, the land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Thank you for a lot of conversations going on right now. I hope it have taken much longer. I've reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... 
That's not good. I don't see anything like it now, sir. What's the plan? Oops. For the second flight, the same place? That would work best. Certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. Whenever he was counting down, I thought he was telling me that was the time I could rest. So that's why I was like, that makes sense. So he was launching the ship. Azimuth 350, a distance 200 meters. Copy that. Bullocks. Oh, where'd go? Got it. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Um, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor. <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose the probe will carry out the first task. It's capable yet? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. Hmm. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. Good. It'll Bless guide up. You along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to continue down this way then. Yes, indeed, indeed. I know. Oh. Hi, Luna. Lead the way. Wow. Sorry to cut you off. I must say. Yeah, it's not. It's a clever device, this probe of ours. He could not fly for this long. Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. I don't know. It is. For me, it's only a matter of time before machines surpass their creators. The only question is when. I think it's possible, but it's also very unlikely as well. As long as there's some t sort of regulation to keep them from doing that. Oh, we have a problem. Something serious? Huh. Dang it. Maybe it's true that machines will surpass us, but not today. The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module uh, itself is careful there. greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. You're definitely off the edge there. <laughs> can you imagine us, proteinaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No. Not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right. You can't. We wait thousands of years for physical changes. Oh, you started to fear for your position. Perhaps one day. Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? Well, if we assume that they'll surpass us, things will get complicated. Because in order to program a brain with computing power equal to that of a human, you need a brain with computing power higher than that of a human. Ergo, a man cannot make a machine smarter than a man. Then who else would design it? The self-learning algorithms? Some spontaneous process? Or pure chaos? Something inhuman. That's for sure. Shh. Astrogator. Can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, then, uh, he must be a long way from here. These bushes are... I hope kind so. ...kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. Hmm. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. Grow wherever they want. Interesting. Astrogator, 
Data, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he good? went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. Uh, so we will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. I hope not. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision. Where'd Luna go? Please continue your search. We have to find him. You may lose another crew member. Going to the, the line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. Oh, there Luna is. Hello. Scare the crap out of me. Uh, do I just go through this then? Do I have to? I guess so. It's probably not a good idea. No telling what this substance or thing is. Flashback. Oh, to when I landed. Jeez, we came in hot. We here? Hopper has landed. I repeat, Hopper Beautiful. has landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any Let's get to it. Landing wasn't too hard on you. All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. Uh Oh, there we go. Hundred percent. The dust has already settled. Whoa. Huh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid Ooh. they might try to fly off. What about the last communication? Yesler? You think our people try to fly away on it? I seriously doubt it. Looks like a bad malfunction to me. But I'm taking Hopper out of here. We can't afford to lose this lander too. Which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. Whoa. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks. From what time is to time this, dude? Normal. But now. Go ahead. What's bothering you? That's wicked. This lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes, it worries me too. Whoa, dude. That's wicked. This is all really cool. That's crazy. Whoa. Damn. You were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. Colors, man. Oh, I can't see my map. Let's t oh, that's cool. The sun literally making it to where the glare of the sun is making it too difficult to see my map. I mean, it wasn't that cool, but it's cool that that mechanic is in the game, adding to the. How do you know? Are there any signs of the crew? I found a cigarette bud and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So, they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. That, that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor. But the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. That's Preserving the integrity of Regis 3's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. Secure 
security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. You say, yes, sir. The mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. <sighs> Always? Are we really that self... Excuse my interruption, sir. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This way will reach the camp within an hour. So, continue. Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves. Whoever they will be. In the end, mm. the strongest will survive. Isn't that how evolution works? Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced. This road may be faster, but it's not the easiest. Anyway, back to our conversation. Doctor, interference is at the heart of human nature. Man would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. Yes, we have a nasty nature. structure that's why i remember this spiky i'm going through that now artificial plant the flashback is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure oh I've whoa never seen anything like this what's going on oh i feel nauseous suddenly what's going on that's not it i feel darkness Oof. Uh, put it away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Put it away. Jeez Louise. What's going on? That was weird. Uh, I can't put away the map. It's very interesting. This could be worse. Is it glitched or something? Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Why can't I go? I can't put the map away. Oopsie. It's all good. I think I got, got through it. Oh, come on. Oh, the uh, dialogue's all over the place right now. Now, right, back to live time. All right? That's why I remember it. Yeah, I can't, I can't put away my map. All right, load her back in. And I was really close behind that point, so I'm lucky. I uh, didn't end up losing too much there, but... All right, I think I'm gonna call it for this one. That's The Invincible. Uh, if you did enjoy this, please like it because that'll tell me that I should make another one. Uh, I plan to play this game out anyways, but I won't post more about it if it doesn't get enough traction. So do like the video if you did enjoy the story thus far. It's definitely interesting and it's, it's a thriller. It's keeping me on my toes and I'm still learning more and more about what's going on on this planet. It's pretty awesome. Still need to find Grosky. Grosky, I believe it's Grosky, uh, but still searching around for him. Hopefully we can stumble upon more clues to help find them but if you did enjoy my content and you want to get more of it please subscribe and turn the notification bell on uh, but like the video again please like it because one i love the support and it also tells me if you guys actually did like it or not uh, but also comment something if you enjoyed it or if you just want to talk i'm here for it but thank you for watching we'll see you next time